Hi folks, I'm Kevin Dundon from Dumbrody House in Ireland's ancient east. I'd like to invite you to my kitchen to share some of my favourite recipes to give you a taste of Ireland. So welcome to my kitchen here in Dumbrody House in the sunny south east corner of Ireland. Now you guys have been busy uh, doing a, a, a poll on what recipe you'd like me to cook and the winner is seafood chowder. It's something that we would serve here in Dumbrody House in our champagne and seafood bar and it's extremely popular. The most important thing is that we're very fortunate here being in Ireland that we're surrounded by fantastic water just full of brilliant fish and the most important thing when you're making a chowder is that you need a combination of different types of fish and I'll explain that. So we have a smoked fish. We've got beautiful uh, smoked salmon here, smoked by Ballyac Smokery here in Arthurstown, just down in the village. We have some shellfish here. We have scallops here that we just harvest off, just off the coast of Kilimore Key. We have beautiful monkfish, which is gorgeous, we have lovely salmon, and we have some cod there. So we're using a combination of different types of fish, and that is so important to do. With our, our smoked salmon, we're just going to Cut off, just kind of slice, slice up the smoked salmon, so that's probably enough for what we, what we need. And it's important when you're doing a seafood cheddar that you kind of keep it bite-sized, so something that will actually fit on a spoon, so when you're eating it, it's just easy to eat, okay? So the smoked salmon is really important. And I always say when I'm cooking, when I'm doing any type of food, I want to have everything kind of prepped, cut, ready before you actually start cooking. And you find when you do that, you get great success in the kitchen every single time. So we've got some lovely salmon here. The salmon has actually come from the west coast of Ireland. Again, it's just cubed nicely like that. We have some monkfish. Now monkfish is something, a fish that you wouldn't necessarily get all over the place, but it, it's available, but it's people kind of just kind of steer away from it. I remember my mum, uh, when I was a, a kid, we used to live in Dublin, in Malahide. And Hoth is a famous harbour and still is to this day of, of landing from some fantastic fish from all over Ireland. Back then, they used to throw the monkfish back because it's quite an ugly looking fish, big head, a long body. But, uh, but mum used to go down and uh, talk to the, the fishermen and used to get uh, monkfish. We've got some lovely cod here again. So this is a lovely... Uh, flaky fish which is uh, which is delicious to eat in a lovely seafood chowder here it'll just literally just melt away in your mouth as you eat it again they're bite-sized pieces and i'm keeping the fish separately because they all cook a different way so i just want to make sure that they're actually being introduced to the cooking process at the right time so we have some scallops here so we just take the the row off the scallops and then you can see here there's just that little bit of uh, sinew on side of the scallop, but that's what attaches the scallop to the shell. Uh, we just want to take that off because it can be a little bit tough. Now it's up to you, you can actually leave the row on, which is this bit here, which is the, the eggs of, of the scallops, but it's totally your, your call. So there we go, so there's our seafood all ready to go there, which is perfect. I'm just going to wash my hands here. So what I do then is I just put that to one side and I'll actually uh, prep up my, my vegetables. So we're lucky here in Dumbrody House is that we, we have amazing vegetable gardens. So we would go up there on a daily basis and we'd actually pick up our veg of what we want to use in our restaurant every day. So you, you can imagine the freshness and the quality of, the, of that food is just like stunning. So we have our, our leeks here. So we're just going to cut it in four like so. And I'm just going to chop that down again, kind of bite size. And I would just get a sieve like so. And I just throw them in and just give them a rinse under cold water just to make sure that you take any of the, the soil that might have gone into, into them as, we, as they were growing. So we have a, a carrot then. And you just want to cut those down and just move them to the side of your board. You've got a potato and we have uh, some scallions or spring onions. Again, we're just going to cut them down. We have some cherry tomatoes, cut them in, in quarters. And this time of year, the cherry tomatoes are out up in the kitchen garden now. It's like, <clears throat> I was up there yesterday and I just walked down to the garden and there's my son, he's 12 years of age, Tom. And he's literally just picking them off and eating them. They're so sweet, they're so perfect. 
So we just need a little bit of uh, olive oil there. So I'll just put a little bit of olive oil in our, in our pan. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our scallions, our carrots and our potatoes. Now at this stage, you can put in some salt and pepper into it, okay? But what we're actually gonna use, and this is a very local uh, producer to us, from Tremor, which is in County Waterford, which is part of uh, the sunny southeast, or the Asian East part of Ireland. And it's the sea garden. And it's a combination of seaweed that's harvested from the ocean, and then it's dried. So instead of using salt, I would use this. But if you can't get dried seaweed, definitely use some salt, okay? So in that goes at this point, and a little bit of uh, black pepper. And at this stage, you're gonna add your smoked fish in, into, into there, and it's all about layering flavors with chowder. So when you do that, and I think what's great about doing seafood chowder is it's such a quick and easy uh, soup uh, to make, and it just, you get so, such great results from it. So I've just put my cherry tomatoes in there now, and it's just cooking up nicely. We'll put in our leeks. At this stage, we're gonna put in some white wine. And basically that's just like de deglazing the pan. So it's just like literally just taking any of the residue of the, those vegetables or the smoked salmon off the base of the pan and incorporating it into the broth. We'll put in some fish stock. And we have a little bit of tomato puree in here. So we're just gonna put like, just like a teaspoon in there. And that's just gonna give it a little bit more depth of flavor. And then we have a little bit of saffron so that's just kind of going to give you, bring it to a different level. If you need it, you, it's up to you. So you can put it in or not. I think it's definitely worthwhile. So at this stage, you bring your, your, the rest of your seafood over. So we have our scallops, we'll just pop our scallops in. And we're just going to sit those on, on top of the broth, if that kind of makes sense. And as soon as the fish goes in, I don't want you stirring it at all, okay? I just want you to gently moving the fish around the broth so it's going to cook nicely. And we're just going to put in the, the rose there. <coughs> so you get a piece of parchment paper, fold it over in half, and half again, and into, into a point, and then just put it to the center of the pot and out to the edge. And you just want to just get your knife then and just cut that off, and you'll get a perfect, perfect circular thing. And then if you just put that into your pot like that. What that is doing is actually, the broth is actually boiling up inside there and the steam forming, so it's actually cooking your fish there perfectly. We have <coughs> a lovely bowl here, okay, to serve up our seafood chowder, just to make it look really, really cool and sexy. And then I've got a lovely glass uh, dome that's gonna go on top, and that's how we would serve it in here in the restaurant. Let's have a look at this guy now. So that's cooking there nicely. I'm just gonna get a ladle now. So. Again, fortunately, we have amazing uh, herb gardens, so I've just got a little bit of flat leaf parsley here. So again, just pop those in. And we have a little bit of oregano. So look at that, when that goes in there, it's just a beautiful broth with those fantastic combination of smoked fish, shellfish, fresh fish, uh, that little bit of saffron, those seaweed flakes going in there too, instead of salt. And you just get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful light summer chowder. And there you go, served up like that. And then when, the, when we put it down in front of the customer, you go, boom, like that. So here you go, a taste of Ireland for you at home. Mm -hmm.